Hey guys, welcome to Freedom Fishing. I am uh, in heaven right now. Mike and I, Mike with Freedom Boat Club. Mike's the manager in St. Augustine. He does an amazing job. His crew is absolutely amazing. And so uh, he said he would teach me to kingfish. I have kingfished before, very little by myself with very little success. Uh, I have caught a lot of kingfish in my lifetime, but mostly on charters. So Mike's gonna teach me to kingfish. But I said, you know what, Mike, don't just teach me. Let's teach the viewers as well. So if you're new to kingfish, never done it before, want to do it. Mike said it's real easy. We are within 10 miles of the beach here in St. Augustine and Mike has got a setup. He's going to show us the setup we got here what we're going to do. Mike's all yours. All right guys we're about nine to ten miles offshore right now. All we're doing today is just pretty much covering structure. If you see something on the bottom machine or on your chart we're going to run it over do a little x pattern. Um, make sure you get all that. Remember baits on the structure big fish eat the bait. Um, we're we'll be trolling five to ten knots today. No bait today. This is average Joe fishing. Uh, need a number four planer and a number two. I have these set up on a bridle. You can just use straight swivels and I'll show you guys the rig in a second. Most important thing about this is we're going to do five lines today. You don't need that. Reels are a little fancy. You can get away with a pen four aught senator combo. Uh, that'll work great. What is uh, this? What is the reel? These are just pretty much uh, 20 size reels. Okay. They got about 800 yards of 20 pound test on them. Okay. Um, and they're lever drag, the other ones will be star drag, either or, lever drag's a little bit better. You hook a big fish on the plane and you want to drop down a little bit. Essentially what's most important is every every line that we're going to go out, we don't have outriggers on this boat, we're using uh, these contraptions here, which work, work pretty good for the Freedom Boats. Um, most important thing is you got to let your lines out at different lengths. So if you put them all at the same length, you're going to have a big, big ball. And again, you only need three lines. We're doing a little bit much for two guys today with five, but we want to have some fun. So first rod that's going to go out, just a squid, basic basic squid uh, trolling rig, little mahi rig. And we're going about seven, everything. seven knots, you said? Yeah, we're going to kick it up. Right now, we're just letting out the lines. We're at about three right now. First rod is the shotgun. Um, if you're fishing three, you would only fish the stern and uh, your shotgun. Your shotgun will always go out first because it's the furthest. Okay, we're going to drop some lines here. We're gonna catch some kingfish, people. This is second bait's going out. It's gonna be the second longest bait. Second bait, second longest bait. So the first one was the longest. Yeah. So the longest first, second longest, third longest, etc. Yeah. If you have a line counter, it's ideal for this stuff. I don't make enough money to have these rods and reels that Mike has. They're not. They're not that much. I got <laughs> There. So is it said drag wise and everything? If we get a fish, we yeah, they're about they're about seven go? eight pounds. The, okay. the planers will be around probably that twelve to fifteen. If you hook a big fish on the planer, it's not going to take drag like you would traditionally. You want to drop the I drop it from here from the strike indicator to about half an inch, which is probably about four pounds, and okay. it'll relieve that pressure. Okay. All right. So we got our three other rods, the two rigger rods, and our shotgun out. First planer you're going to put out is a number two planer. This planer has to go out longer than the number four. If you put them at the same length, you're going to have a mess. Um, I have a bridle system. You don't need it. You can just use. Uh, Mike, explain to them what a number two and a four. What's the difference? Uh, one is going to put more pressure and go a little bit deeper in the water column, which would be the so the higher four. the number, the deeper yeah. it goes. So this one has set it up for you guys. The number two is going to have 30 feet of 80 pound test. You don't need wire. Um, do we risk a cutoff here and there? Yeah, I feel that we get more bites on the straight mono. You can even get away with 60. You don't need 80. This time of the year, kingfish are getting a little bit thicker. So I went up 20 pounds just in case we get you know a little bit bigger fish. They've been that 8 to 12 round range. This has 30 feet of leader. The number four is going to have 20. Again, super important. You have them at different depths. Depending on what you're fishing for, sometimes I'll use 100 feet. Kingfish all year, 30 and 20 have been significant. Okay. So at the end of the at the end of the leader to the bridle. See the spoon right here? Got yep. about 30 feet there. You have a bridle system. It goes right in your reel. You flip the first one on. Flip the rear. You don't have to worry if your planer catches. I'm going to show you guys how to set your planer. Real important, again, they have to go, the number two and the number four have to go at different different lengths. 
I do it off seconds. If you have a stop clock or you mark your reels, you have a line counter, it's even better. We're gonna do 30 seconds. I like a little bit more on this one. And I go straight into spree spool. You don't have to worry about setting it or anything. So you're counting down 30 seconds. Yep. I'm at 10. All right, your, your planer should, if it doesn't catch, you wanna go swift up, it caught there. If it didn't catch, all you have to do is come here, hold it, because you're gonna have a good amount of pressure. You point your rod forward, and you hold it here, and you snap it down. It's gonna catch when you do that. You're setting your planer. I'll show you guys later if you want how to uh, untrip it so it's easier to reel in as well. And all we're using, guys, is you can use a drone spoon, these are tsunami spoons. They're at Walmart. They're eight bucks right now. It doesn't get any better than that. It's all you need for King Mackerel. All right, people. Mike's predicting fish. Very yeah. We can see the birds speaking. Oh, there we go. Mike's gonna go with our first right, fish. First, most important thing is we're gonna keep the boat steady. We're gonna drop it down to about five. If you come completely down on the rod, you're gonna relieve pressure on the rod. Fish is gonna come off. So go forward. Forward. Most important thing is that there's somebody on the wheel, and we're gonna start working. I have no idea what this is. He's staying short and high on the water column and kind of coming right down the middle. The most important thing is keep pressure on the fish the whole time. If you let pressure off the line, that fish is going to come off. And now we have the boat, we have the fish next to the boat. Depending on what it is, we might go into neutral. Peter. A little, and we got a little, little king. Looks like a bunny. Benita, Benita, yep. We're going to neutral? Neutral? Yes. Our first fish of the day, a little Benita. That didn't take long. We've been trolling for about 15 minutes or so. All right, Mike. Nice job, dude. See you, dude. You got to say see you, dude, when you release him. All right. <laughs> um, this is a, a Seymour chart. It's a little bit has mapping already of uh of the bottom you don't need this though all you need is a, is a regular depth finder you can do it plenty this helps out definitely a little bit but the most important thing is when you get here and you're on your chart you can either go to full sonar or go to split go home or we're going to split the screen with a half chart half sonar that way you know when you're on the structure because if not, if you're just using the navigation chart, you have no idea when you actually reach the structure except the BB. And, and you can see, see marks, you can see some structure see coming up. Yeah. Yep. You might be 200 feet north of the wreck, and you see the bait balls there. All you got to do is hit that bait ball. So we'll use this chart. All right, split your screen, people. Oh, there you go. 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 All right, here we go. Great. So you're gonna reel that thing up to the tip, and then. Grab that and line the okay. He's not very heavy. Oh, I don't know. I might have lost him. No, he's just on the top. He's just okay. Different. You catch him on the live bait. When you catch him on the cleaner, you kind of drop him out a little bit. Okay. Uh, double, double. We're hooked up on top. We're doubled up. So I'm gonna get this one in quick. Get yep. Go get that one. Oh yeah, here we go. What do we got? We got a. Do we have a little king or we got a bonita? What do we got? He might have got an off on the top. Is that a good bit? Oh yeah, we go. A little kingfish. Perfect. Target species, people. There we go. Good job, Mike. All right, we got a nice little kingfish here. Out with Mike. Teach us how to kingfish. We're about 15, 20 minutes in. We already got a Benita kingfish. All right, let's get him. That one on the top came off. It's fine. All right, toss dude. him back in. Adios, Bubba. See you, dude. <laughs> Here we go. I'm glad this is in a rod holder. Having to stay with the fish, he'll speed up and slow down. Oh, there he is. There's some weight. There's some weight. Yep.
Oh yeah, we got a decent fish here. Be a nice king, baby. Okay. Okay. We haven't seen a fish yet. Getting close. Mike's gonna do the work here. Got weight. Yes. As you let the line go back out, you got a bonita on. Throw it towards <laughs> the water. If you get a big fish and he runs, it's a bonita. Still. There we go. These are beautiful fish. They're really not good to eat. They're good for bait. You do bonita strips. Pretty good little bonita. You want me to give us some speed, Mike? Mm -hmm. There we go. Alright. Adios, dude. See you. There we go. Fish on, baby. You want to fight it? Yeah, let me get it. If you don't mind. No. Oh, this is a heavier fish. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a heavier fish on here. Oh, yeah. This is a... This is definitely a heavier fish. Yeah, got it. Oh, he was heavy. Now he's coming. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. I can feel him. Oh yeah, this is definitely a better fish, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely a better fish. Oh baby, yeah. All right, there we go. We got a nice kingfish. All right, target species. Good job, Mike. See, good job, dude. Fishing. Oh, here we go. Oh, this just got hit. I don't know if he's on there. So oh, he's on. I think he's on. I think he's on. Yeah, he's on. He's on. Fish on. You want him? No. I'll do it. He's in the right little starter. If you want me to get him, I'll get him. That's a good fish, too. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Don't stop, oh, oh. don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. I think, oh, I think we might have lost him. I think, I think we might have lost him. Ah, that was a good fish too. I think we lost him. Unless he's swimming at me, we lost him. Yeah, it's fine too. We'll drop it back. We'll circle. We'll get another one. When we get small crafts, drop down, that? drop down, drop down, drop down on him. Oh yeah, here we go. You want it, Mike? Got him on top. I think he's there still. He's small. Yeah, he's there. He yeah, got a little bit of pull to him. Yep. What do we got? Let's be a little king. Oh, we got a no. Oh, yeah. You want to try it, Yeah, I got it. And now let the water, you always let the line go towards the water in case it runs. If you can. Gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, I think we got a little king. I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here he goes. Oh, is it? No, it's a bean. Yeah. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're right on the engine, dude. He's got, he's got some size to him. Is it a king? I can't no, tell. Thick, whatever it is. I can't tell the. Oh, we're in neutral? Okay. Yeah. That's a bean. Yeah, we're nice yeah, a king, yeah. You can tell Mike's done this before. Alright, little kingfish action. Mike's putting me on the fish. We got six kingfish in the boat. Alright, see you, dude. Mike, it might have been. I mean, it might be a small fish on there. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> can we just reel him in? Yeah. 
We think we got a small fish on here, so Mike said, Greg, you can handle the small fish. He's gonna take the big ones. Right on top. Yeah, I see him. What do you think? Small bonita? Small, small, small. I thought it might have been a half fish. It's a whole fish. I release the line towards the water. In case this little tiny fish makes a run, which he's not going to. What is? Oh, son of a gun. What's a little span? Is that a Spanish? No, no, it's so a king. It's a, it's a juvie king. Like Alright, little dude. Chill. I'll let you do your thing. See how good I get the hook off, Mike? <laughs> yes, sir. Alright, little kingfish. Check out the teeth on the little guy. He's a little guy. Alright, see you, dude. Sounds like a southern statement, doesn't it? Cooking with grease. Oh. Go blue, it's almost football time. All my Wolverine fans out there, baby. Go blue. When you see Michigan, I got three members that come to mind. They're all not they're all good people. <laughs> yeah. Mike said all the Michigan, all the Michigan members are good people. There you go, go blue. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, here we go. Fish on, baby. Glad I got it off, Rick. No, he's on, he's on. Doubled up. Doubled up, baby, doubled up. Oh man, mine's swimming right to me fast. He doesn't think I can reel fast. This is a small fish. We're in neutral, right? Oh uh, no, we're in gear. This is the part that freaks me out. over here buddy don't get near the engine don't get near the there we go one king in the boat see I de-hook them other in the bottom of the boat I gotta teach Mike how to do that you just got off well we were doubled up for a moment there all right get a tangle here um just because he ran we ran north a little bit and we got this other bait, but it's fine. It's out in short, so. All right. Mike's got something on here. We're not sure what it is yet. We've been getting hit in this spot pretty much every time we ran it. This is, we are 48 miles offshore and this spot is amazing. <laughs> Just kidding. We are within 10 miles, people. So we're uh, we're getting all these fish within 10 miles. So you don't have to go way off to well, you have fun. Off the beach. This That's is right. That's right. That's right. We can get them off the beach too. Dude, they don't, they're not over. They're all in there. They're little ones. Yeah, these are little ones. Just turn around and give me a shot of him before you throw him back. Ah, oh, never mind. I got him. There he is. That little king. The last couple have been about that size. A little smaller. Still fun to catch, though. All right, there he goes. See you, dude. All right, Mike's bringing in the last rod. We've been out here a little over two hours, I guess. We've caught 10 fish. We got uh, six kingfish, so we limited out, more than limited out. You can keep uh, two per fisherman, uh, 24 inches of the fork, and uh, we limited out for sure. We released them all, though. We caught a really big barracuda. We caught another barracuda, and we caught a couple bonitas. So it was a great time. I learned how to troll for a kingfish, which is something I needed to do. And hopefully you learned how to troll for kingfish, too. Mike did a great job. Love coming out here with Mike. Uh, if you're interested in Freedom Boat Club, go to St. Augustine, talk to Mike or Bill. Bill's the uh, the sales uh, director for the Jacksonville Market. They do an amazing job, so go see those guys at Freedom Boat Club. Mike, thanks for taking me out, sir. Yes, sir. All right, guys. See you later. Have a good night. God bless. Like and subscribe. Thank you.